This Sunday, 500 U.S. cities were attended by at least 3.3 million people during the Women's March. 100,000 were marching in the streets of Denver alone. I asked some of the participants why they were there that morning. I'm marching, well mostly I, I'm working with Moms Demand Action and we are working towards gun sense in America. So I'm marching for women and I'm marching just to have our voices heard, to stand up with the women and people of America. Oh my God, because there's so much going on, but we just need to all stand together. Everybody's rights are human rights, so yeah. The current state of political reality in this country is, is frightening. To stand up for human rights and the environment and um, my son who is Vietnamese American and uh, just, you know, civil rights, everything. I'm marching here today for women's rights, for African American rights, for civil rights in general. I'm also here to support women and for all of us women to come together to also um, for the Supreme Court because I think that that's very important coming up because what Donald Trump will have is the ability possibly to, a to appoint five Supreme Court justices which could be very, very conservative and therefore affect women's health care, you know, health care of everybody. So yeah, that's why I'm here. Some marchers had advice to give to the college students here at CSU. Find strong women and embrace them. Find your passion, find your voice and stand up and find it young. Yes, all you young women out there, don't be afraid and just make some noise. Don't wait your whole life to make it. Start today. These marches are happening throughout the world. It's not just in the United States. And look at this. This is the most spirited march that I've been at since the march against Vietnam. 